Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're playing some more Plague Inc. Evolved. We'll be back where today we're going to be looking at the official scenario of Ice Age. Solar variation reduces the amount of radiation emitted by the sun, triggering a minor ice age and lowering the global temperature by more than 5 degrees centigrade, as well as triggering other climate change events. Is hell freezing over? Possibly. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing as a bacteria. Now you might be thinking this is probably the easiest one to do it with. Yeah. Pretty much. It's because I'm really bad at this game, so we're going to go with this. I've unlocked a few more little things in here, but unfortunately I don't think we probably have the ones that are the best. I mean, we don't have any of these ones at all. And out of these, it would be cool if we had Native Biome, or maybe even Extremophile, which is going to give a Plague a bonus in all environments. Unfortunately we don't have that. But I'm thinking logically here, so possibly we'll go for humid environments, because if it's really cold everywhere... Does that make it more humid? Not really, does it? I suppose it depends where you are. Okay, well, either way, maybe we should go for zero file because I'm going to start this one in India. So I suppose, is India very arid? I suppose it's probably more humid than arid, isn't it? We're also going to go for the symptostasis so that we can start uh, putting more points into symptoms a lot more easily. We're also going to go for an ATP boost for the start. And we're going to stick with Aquasite because we want to get to those really cold nations like Greenland and Iceland. Things like that. They always screw me over, man! Okay, right, let's call this... Frosty the Snow Tramp. I don't know why. Okay, welcome to the Ice Age scenario. You're a new bacteria to when you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Remember the world has changed. Use your country information screen to see the country climates and demographics. So we're going to start in India. I think, because there's a heavy population here. It's also humid, I hope, anyway. Frosty the Snow Tramp begins in India. It's infected its first human, weak and unspecialised. It must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. Lovely. So straight away what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look in here. Now, the way I'm going to play this is I'm going to increase the infectivity, at least initially, using some of these symptoms. Mostly because they're cheap and we have a few points to begin with. And then we're going to move into things like water and air, because they're going to help us spread in to those annoying outside nations like Greenland. At least that's the plan. So let's go for this first of all. Probably going to regret this. So we're going to go for nausea, so it's going to increase infectivity when kissing. We're also maybe going to go for rash, because I want to get to that necrosis if I can. And if that's the case, maybe we'll go for sweating next. And then we could even go for cysts, maybe, and maybe cysts. Cysts seem good. Do they lead to anything good? I think they lead to, like, coma and things like that. I'm not really sure. Okay, but we can we can get one of those and maybe skin lesions as well. Skin lesions is going to be very good. Increasing that infectivity massively early on is going to be a big advantage. So speed this up. Now, some of you might be wondering, Parky, are you going to be doing much more of this game? Because I do feel like I've done a lot of videos on this. And frankly, I'm one for variety on the channel. Let's go for cysts. And then maybe we can go for... Eh... Yeah, let's go for abscesses. That seems good. Okay, and then should we go for skin lesions? Maybe we won't. Maybe Should we go for something like vomiting? Vomiting seems good. And then maybe pulmonary edema? Eh, I'm not sure. Go for coughing. Just go for a nice spread of these early ones, because the thing with the bacteria is it's not going to mutate that quickly, hopefully at all, because it's going to screw us over. But maybe we can go for pneumonia now. But anyway, as I was saying, a lot of you might be thinking, Parky, when are you going to stop this? God damn it, Goldman Sachs, or whatever your name is. Well, the answer to that is probably not too many more. I said that I was probably going to try and finish all of the official scenarios. And I do understand that a lot of you really enjoy this game, so I don't want to get rid of it too quickly. Uh, what do I want to go into now? Let's go for pneumonia whilst I ramble. And then maybe we can also go for... What else have we got here? Anemia? Sure. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. We go for haemophilia as well. Why not? Increases the infectivity. Should we go for sneezing? Sneezing seems good. We're going to go for all these early ones. I'm not going to do too much more than this. Maybe we'll just go for hypersensitivity and maybe something like skin lesions, like I said I was going to, and then move on to the normal transmission. Okay, so yeah, the answer is I'm not sure. I think maybe well, there'll be a few more. I haven't even finished the main game yet, the like official official main game campaign. Main game campaign. <laughs> Perfect English. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I feel as though maybe it might be a nice time to move on to something else, because I don't like doing too many things that are too similar for too long on my channel. Mostly because I like to have a bit of variety, and I feel as though there's some other games that I'd like to play. But what I'm really asking you guys to do is leave your feedback in the comment section below. Tell me whether you've enjoyed the series as a whole, because that's obviously going to help me decide what to do. And of those of you who maybe have enjoyed it but want to see new things, you can always leave your suggestions as to what other games you'd like me to 
maybe play? Anyway, they've discovered there's a new disease spreading, which is obviously not going to be great for us. Probably won't be too long until they start figuring out that they need to start putting some money into research and other stuff like that. India has shut down its seaports, so they're going to try and limit the spread via their ports, damn it. But actually, we've already got into other countries, so it probably doesn't matter too much. India has actually started working on a cure as well, so let's get this extreme bioaerosol. And then maybe we'll go for the abilities here. We've got bacterial resilience, protect against all climates. I think we're going to go for some of these. It's very rare that I actually go for the sort of plague-specific traits like this, but we're going to go for it. I think maybe we'll go for resistance too as well. And then, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it there, seeing on how I feel. Let's go for that. Yeah, fine. Okay, we've got a stream by our aerosol as well, which is good. And I'm thinking, should we go for birds? Because it's going to help land transmission. And it's also going to help it spread it in Europe. Well, all the countries are actually connected by land, of course. So let's go for this. I feel like we don't do bird enough. Let's do another bird. Okay, and why not even just go for another bacterial resistance? Because it's going to help in all climates. And of course, because this is an ice age, everything is going to be a lot colder. So we might as well go for some cold very soon. In fact, should I go for drug one to help spread in the better, more wealthy sort of countries where they've got better health care? Probably. Probably go for this Frosty the Snow Tramp Awareness Day. Oh my god. Charities are holding a Frosty the Snow Tramp Awareness Day to raise the profile of this disease and encourage development of a cure. Oh no, it's the worst day ever. It's, it's Frosty the Snow Tramp's birthday. Actually, when is Frosty the Snow Tramp's birthday? I'm not really sure. When do you even start in this game? Is it like 2015? Maybe it starts from the day that you actually play on. I'm not sure if the date actually auto-updates or not. Let's go for Cold 1. We're also going to go for Cold 2. And then maybe we should go for some more of these transmissions. We could go for Livestock. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think this one is good for getting it spread into Greenland. Maybe. I'm probably completely speaking out of my ass there. But you know what? We're going to go for it anyway. And we're going to get 25 points and get Bird 2. Because I think that sounds like a brilliant idea. Frosty the Snow Tramp placed on the watch list. Oh dear God. Well, research, thankfully, is not going up too quickly. It is a bit worrying, though. So maybe we'll go for bird two, and then we can go for something maybe like drug resistance again? Where is it? How much is that going to cost? 31. Yeah, we could go for drug resistance. One of the things that I do want to talk about, actually, is the fact that I've got a lot of footage for a series that me and Kips have done. And if you don't know who Crazy Kips is, uh, we used to do a lot of videos together. We did, like, Minecraft Jungle Survival and stuff back in the day. So we've done, like, a fighting fantasy-esque thing. I just need to actually get time to edit it. Unfortunately, I'm getting a bit busier again. Okay, so what we've done is we've gone into diarrhea and dysentery because I feel as though they're probably going to help us spread quite nicely. We could also go for necrosis. Now, obviously, the issue with this is that we're starting to increase the lethality, which isn't great considering, well, we've not even spread into all the different countries. Scientists exploit diarrhea. Oh dear, that's not a title you see every day, is it? Scientists will find it easier to develop a cure for any disease with diarrhea. Ah, oh, I didn't actually realise they had that trait. It's probably not going to be that helpful for us. Let's go for necrosis, because that's going to allow um, all the dead people to actually infect the living, healthy people. And then after this, we could go for insanity. I'm not sure if this is actually helping us increasing all these things. Go for insanity. Maybe we could go for... Have we got coma? Because I'm just thinking if we can slow down the rate at which people are actually going to the doctors, or even just slow down the rate at which people are being able to research, that would be very helpful. So we could go for something like paralysis. That might be good. Have we actually got... Where is coma? Oh, it's here. 21. Okay, we could go for that. Maybe we could go for fever as well. Because that seems good. Dehydration, sure thing. Okay, global research is focused on a cure. Of course, the only risk with this one... Oh, coma's actually mutated for us. The only risk with this one is that people are going to die off quicker than we can actually infect new people. Seems okay at the moment. We've actually just infected all the outlying regions, such as Greenland and other places. So what have we got now? We could go for maybe Livestock 2. Oh, we've actually got Livestock 2 already. Oh no, we haven't got Livestock 2. Let's go for Livestock 2, because it's going to help in... Greenland, although we've actually got every country already, so maybe we don't need to worry. And then after that, I suppose we can just wait. It's probably going to infect everyone already. Public defecation symptom combo. Diarrhea and insanity are causing the people to defecate in public and everywhere else. Everyone is increasingly focused on developing a cure. Oh dear, not good for that. Well, the research is currently on 30%, which is slowing down quite considerably. Information is now mutated as well, which may help the spread. I'm not sure if that's going to help the spread at all. As long as it doesn't kill people off faster than we're infecting, which it doesn't look like we are in terms of Greenland. So I think we're pretty much going to be fine. We've got loads of points as well if we ever need to do a genetic reshuffle. So I think this is a GG. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff 
that is in the making. And there's a lot of stuff that I'd like to do on the channel that unfortunately I probably don't have time for at the moment because obviously I don't do this full time so it makes it very difficult for me. It's, it's not like all these big YouTubers who do this full time have endless amounts of time to do all these things. But yeah, I'm not sure. Let's get, have we actually just got all of it? I think that's the first time we got all of those symptoms. Okay, well whatever. That's quite enjoyable having all of them. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff and I don't know when it's going to be coming out if you're interested in that sort of thing. I'm hoping very soon because basically what's having to happen with that is there's going to have to be a lot of artwork done for it and a lot of editing. So yeah, maybe something to look out for the future. Frosty the Snow Tramp to eradicate humans. Ah yeah, that was pretty successful. Surprisingly easy and surprisingly went well. Not really sure why. Completed the Ice Age. Look at this. Fantastic. We got actually three biohazard bubbles there. We also got 323 days that we did that in. Cure progress sunny on 35%. Yeah, pretty nice. So having a look, there's actually quite a few of these left. Some of these are quite interesting looking ones. We've got about six, eight, nine left. So I'm not really sure if I want to do all nine of them. So maybe leave your suggestions as to which ones of these you'd like to do. I'm feeling like maybe another couple of videos, maybe a few. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free as always to leave your support in the comment section below. Also let me know about whether you want me to play other things. I'm feeling like maybe it might be a good time. Because obviously one other thing that I want to mention is that these videos are quite short, because I only really want to do one of these scenarios per episode, but then obviously they only last about 10 minutes. So that's another consideration. Another thing is also, uh, the other two series on my channel are probably going to be quite long running, so I want to do a lot of variety things on my channel. Things that maybe would entertain and sort of communicate with you guys more. I have actually got the vlog videos I do, the uh, Tankard of Truth, which are obviously very good for communicating with you guys. I've actually also got a Facebook group where you can post those sort of questions to me, and hopefully we'll get a few more of those out in the future, because I really enjoy just rambling at you. Thanks for watching! <laughs> goodbye! Awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.